Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Villa Frame 4. We are about to start chapter 6, I think. Yeah, chapter 6. <laughs> We're slowly unlocking more and more of the building. We're exploring new floors. Last episode, we managed to go to the third floor. Third, third floor. Where we found Duka's and Misaki's rooms. And also creepy funeral room with caskets and everything, which was very, very creepy. We are about to start chapter 6, which I'm thinking might be Kirishima, so very excited if we can see him again. So let's just start, dive right in, and see who we're playing as. Summary. Empty vessel. Distorted face in the mirror and music. What kind of treatment was done here? Why do the spirits of the patients continue to linger here even now? Doubts well up within Duka. She approaches the familiar room. This is the sick room in which she was once hospitalized. Oh, so Duka again? Yep. Okay. So Duka ended up finding her room on the third floor, and that's where it ended last time. But we haven't gone in yet. My room. Do you think it's gonna be locked? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just like Misaki. Okay. What is it? Also want to see if I can... Uh... Oh, cool. Something appeared in the photo. Five handmaidens. Ooh, got him! Man going into gallery. Long haul, the light coming in. So cool. Something at the end there. Oh. Oh, there it is. That's it. Oh, their faces are all fucked. Painting with blurred faces. In this picture, all the people have blurred faces. I can see that. Something fell behind the picture. Oh. Is it a key? Someone hid it behind the painting. Oh. Weird. Well, thanks. Thanks, painting. For giving me my key. Large decorative painting of a woman in a red kimono. Her face is blurred and covered in a dark red. Impossible to tell what she looks like. Mm, creepy. Can we upgrade again, you think? Forty-seven, yeah. Let's uh start leveling up all the other stuff. And then we have 10 left, so we can do reload. There. Now we're broke. Actually, there's also these. Boost damage. Increase the power. Damage would be awesome. Hit him where it hurts. Okay. And it's equipped. Awesome. I see a little doll hiding. There was no escaping me. I'm so excited to see Fatal Frame 5 re-released. I'm kind of thinking about just playing it on PC, but I'm really curious how they fixed or solved the issue with like having to turn the Wiimote or the, the Wii U thing, you know? I wonder how... Maybe it's just an extra button that you press and then... Oh! They're both locked. Oh. Oh. He's already gone. So now you want me to go here? 
Yeah, it's probably just an extra button that makes you switch to portrait mode or something. I think. Uh, 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 oh, still counted. Yes. Painting a picture on the floor. Strange picture drawn on the floor. Countless people are painted around the red room woman with a distorted face. Oh yeah. So cool. Awesome. Magaki. The vision makes me pick up the brush. Black. Silent. I wasn't there. No one. Moment by moment, my memory is painted black, filled with more and more black. However, only the vision stands out in total blackness. Only one vision stands out. In exchange for my memory being burned away, I have received this vision. The vision has changed, looking through, like looking through a kaleidoscope. That moment is fixed, the light drilled through my darkness. I was born. Ooh, 20 crystals. Shit. I think I can get back here, but it's a little bit hard. Oh, wrong button. Shit. Oh, I love how the colors show up. In the bathtub. Yeah, that's cool. Can't see him. Crawling man. <gasps> God, she's still stuck in curtain mode. Oh, he doesn't attack us. We're free to leave. <gasps> wow, we have been spared. What was that noise? Oh, it's this thing. My room. Uh, for a second, I was like, "Wait, how can how can the camera take a picture of you when you're the one with the camera?" But I guess the camera can photograph documents and stuff as well. It just photographs like moments of the past. That horrible music. Small music box with a little accessory case attached to it. This is where I lived. Did I really live here? I can't remember anything. My diary. Since coming to the hospital, I feel a lot better. I made friends with a girl my age, and the nurses are really nice, but sometimes I get sad. Why do I have to wear a mask? Why am I the same as my father? When the doctor plays the music to me, I remember all the horrible things. I want to become better soon for my mother, so I want to remember, but I'm scared. About the house, the mask, father, father's back, father turning around, and... Oh, there's something behind the closet. The corner. Nice. Oh. Did 
this? A sound that tickles the edge of my memory. Does the music box still work? A single gear is missing. But how is it playing just now? Mysterious! Where are we gonna find the gear? Ah, we know what that is. Why is the gear in such a strange place? The room is familiar. I've always liked looking at this painting. Tori Gate. Lighthouse in the back. Large picture decorates the wall. Drawing of a Tori Gate and a pagoda. Pagoda? It's not a pagoda. It's a lighthouse. Ooh, a tape! Is it of moi? A little small, like, nuance um, is that she said she puts on the mask and she becomes someone else, but in Japanese they really say, like, someone else enters my body, like someone takes over. And she feels like she's sleeping, so, like, she's asleep and someone else is controlling her is what it feels like. Well, that was easy, huh? Is there something here? Huh. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Oh, now she got up. Nice. Can I do it again? Do you think the hand is still here? Oh, I got it! It worked! Nice. Yeah, another little nuance in there is that the dad is saying to her... Oh! That she can become anyone she likes. Ah! Oh! Crazy dude! He always fucking hides in the walls. Thank you. 
Oh, they're fainting. Oh. Oh, how is that not horror? There's so much waiting. So much of this fight is just waiting. There we go. That do it? Oh, okay. Did I take a picture of you already? I did not. I think there might have been one in the closet too. Yeah, I thought I saw you. Oh, you're not an official one? Huh. Never mind then. Wait, is there... No, just clothes. Okay. Uh, I got my gear. So I should just go back to my room. Oh, I'll get you later. First, I'm gonna go do this. It isn't turning. I have to arrange them properly. Oh, gear puzzle? Oh god, gear puzzle. Oh, it doesn't touch. There you go. I always forget how this one goes. Ugh, they don't touch. Do they just need to all work? I can't go to the left for some reason. That'll work. I've heard this somewhere. If I play it on the piano, I might, but rem might remember. Extra line. That's a pretty tough one. Okay. Uh, A to play. That was it though, it hit all the notes. Same way, <laughs> same song, <laughs> I played it. Going to Memory Town. We are. We're gonna explore this memory. Where is this place? I've been here before, I think. It's your room, your piano, everything. diary. Today I played in the garden again, and because it's by the workshop, I heard a grinding noise. I thought it was father, but it wasn't. I didn't get to see him after all. Father is always making masks. When father doesn't stroke my head, I feel lonely. When he doesn't hug me, it's boring. I asked mother when he'll be done working, but I didn't get an answer. Always working.
that heartbeat in the background. Oh, it doesn't count. I guess because we're in a memory. Sayaka overlooking the courtyard. She said my name. Was she looking down on me? My mother's diary. I saw Duka standing in the moonlit garden. I don't know what she was holding. She just stood there with a blank expression, muttering. Duka seems frightened whenever she sees herself in the mirror. Before she blooms, I must consult Dr. Haibara. If I don't hurry, it'll be too late to see the doctor. I think Duka may have had this problem for some time. Someday when Duka is cured, I'll see her smile. He's put the mask on Duka. Various masks were placed before the altar. Is this, was is this what caused Duca to suffer from the disease? He's changed. The time he spends confined in his workshop increases daily. And every time he returns, if I feel as though he isn't telling me something. His eyes have fallen deeply into shadow, and there is an un increasing sense of darkness. But the strange, brilliant glow in his eyes only increases with each day that passes. The color of irritation is visible in the words he speaks. Now, whatever he is pursuing, he won't talk to me about. However, he is clearly completely dedicated to it, even obsessed. What is he going to do? When I think about it, my faith in him wavers. When all of his work is finished, will Soya come back? Perhaps he'll never return. Such thoughts have flashed through my mind. He is so different from now from the Soya I knew. I have to keep Duka away from him. Looks like that was it. On to the next room. I love that heartbeat. It makes everything feel so, like, oppressive. They definitely liked their garden. You can look at it from all of the rooms. Watching the moon. Photo of a man with masks. My father? We read a file earlier on that as well. <coughs> oh. So that you forgot again. What did I forget, Mom? <gasps> a key. Small cherry key. Um, 
What was I saying? Fuck. There's something we read earlier. Oh yeah, about the dad. Like, she was talking, she read about the memory where it was like, my dad's back. My dad churning, and then it stopped. The file ended. Another diary. Tomorrow's the day of the festival. I can see the masked dancing. I can't wait to go to the festival with everyone. But if I put on a mask, will I forget everything again? The illness makes me lose my memories. I remember being sick. But the people who I can't meet anymore, the people who have died, my father, they all disappear. If I try to remember, I start feeling scared. But if I don't remember, my father will disappear. The father I can remember will die. I'm scared. I'm scared of remembering, but please don't disappear. The box contains a mask. When I took it out of the box and looked at it carefully, I faintly remembered something. This is... day of the festival when I was kidnapped it hurts to remember that day when I was kidnapped what did they do to me I guess I should leave since I'm done here there is still that item on the left that we didn't pick up it was here right Oh, why is it red? Ah! Stooping patience ghost. He was just hanging out there. He was so quiet. <gasps> the hand's there. Go back. Do it again. Okay, should be safe now. I definitely saw the hand. <gasps> oh, still was there! God damn it! Oh, it's so hard to avoid in this one. Damn it. I did get some blue crystals earlier, didn't I? Is that a book? Nurse's note. Stagnant air flows through the hospital. Hospital staff dying in accidents. Inpatients disappearing myster mysteriously. Sorrowful presence here suddenly began. Ever since that day, the behavior of the patients has become increasingly strange. The doctors and nurses are being crushed by the dismal atmosphere. After Tsubaki on the third floor died, I have had to take charge of her duties there until new people can be hired. I had to take over. There was no one else. I maintained contact with the patient that left the hospital, the child that was kidnapped and found safely. When the child's room was cleaned, I found her mother's diary. The mother and child have left the island now, and they won't be coming back to get it. All it held was painful memories of the place on the island where they grew up. Then they may come back someday. Until that time, it's important to keep it safe. Jesus. Do you think she's the lady that died on this floor? Oh, two. Oh, here's the diary from the mom. I used the key. Ah. Duka, I'm sorry. I don't think I can take it anymore. When I heard from the detective how you were found, everything I believed in collapsed with a noise. They say that the tunnel they found you in was connected to the elevator shaft in Haibara Hospital. 
I realized that putting you into that hospital and asking Dr. Haibara to cure you was nothing but a mistake. And when I heard that what condition your clothes were in when you were found and what the tunnel was like, I... Who would have thought that that person was involved? To imagine that murderer was really involved in all this. Then there really isn't any place that can offer us peace anymore. Mr. Kirishima said it was unreasonable to take me to the place where you were found. From the first floor, door gets a hall corridor crossing to Haibara Hospital. In the basement of Haibara Hospital, there's no elevator button that goes further down than the first floor. That's where you were, against the old tunnel wall where the hospital's construction work was suspended, right under the moon reflection well. Only a thin light shines down from the, from the dark of the well. The cold air from that place makes the body tremble uncontrollably. When I stood in that place, I could only cry. Back then, what happened to you? Why did your hearts break? Will your memories vanish? Dr. Katagiri said that even if your memory doesn't return, you are fortunate to have survived. For now, we must try not to upset the balance of your barely maintained mental state. From now on, maybe it's not impossible for you to recover slowly and return to a normal life again. But you probably won't remember anything from before you lost your memories. What reason do you have to remember when it would only break you? Just maybe there's a chance that you may bloom. But it will be hard to lose our irreplaceable memories. But we need to forget about the things of the past. What you remembered, what's happening to us. We should only look forward, holding hands tightly. From now on, only remember the good things. Woohoo, nice. Anything else here? Nope. Those crystals though, maybe I can upgrade again. 50. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, 50. <gasps> yes. Power. Awesome. Okay. So where will we go next? I'm trying to think what we unlocked. Because it was Misaki who found a key, right? I don't think it was us. Where should we go? Hmm. I don't know where to go. Oh right, the connecting corridor. That's what we were reading about. Basement of Haibara Hospital. I think we can open that now. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. I guess I can only run. Please open. Okay. Okay. Seems like we're good now. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Although I think I need to be there though. But I'm worried she'll just come back. <laughs> or she's still there. Let me think. I should be able to just go around. Never again. That inner yard. Scary. So traumatizing. <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is the door I need. Ah, oh, but it's locked though. Ah, so I am in the right place. Cool. Uh, 
No. Damn it. Ugh. I know where we need to go. I don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, hey, something under the stairs. Doesn't happen too often. go back to the moldy door room. I just hope she doesn't show up again. not expect her to come out of there. Ugh. Oh god, what are we doing? No, don't stick your hand in there! Oh, the key. Old key had fallen into the floor. Access path is written on it. That must be the sight door, yep. Okay, that's all I need. Oh god. I was gonna say so. I'm the f gonna leave, but. She has something. <gasps> oh, jeez! Oh, she was under the desk! Where is she? Got her. Strong camera. I like it. Ugh. Ooh, I got a new lens. Nice. Check it out in a sec. Duty nurse. No change today. She's still unconscious, sleeping. I'm afraid. Is she still alive in this state? I looked at her cardiovascular and EEG data, which were in the doctor's desk. She's still alive behind that door, that's for certain. But if you look at the little things in the data, she may as well not be. Sometimes I can't help but feeling like their eyes have opened. In my mind, I know it will be a blessing if this patient recovers. Even so, my heart trembles with uneasiness. When she opens her eyes and opens that door, I know the world will collapse. No, it hasn't. It's closed. Stay closed, okay? Thanks. I'm out of here. Bye. That was the door she came out of one time, right? Or am I misremembering now? Nice. 
I love how she takes every little step. We have the key. So let's go straight that way, because I'm afraid that she's just gonna pop up at some point. Nice, we're good. Oh, okay. <sighs> Here we are. Nice big open corridor. Huh? Oh, hey, what's that? Crystals, nice. What is that? Tiny little cabinet. Cute. I think this is a safe point. On the note, be the note beside it beats, reads Dogetsu carving. Ah. Huh. Ah, huh, no. I guess it's not. Oops. I think I always think that. <laughs> and then I'm proven wrong. Ah! No, 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 no. I'll just go here, because I have a little bit more space here. Oh, hi. One of you better attack me. Okay. I think I got them both. Oh! You better fuck off, dude. Okay, good. <laughs> gotcha. Oh shit. Oof. Oh, he's drowning. There he goes. Oh, that mask. Creepy. Oh, he was running for me. Oh. Scary, dude. Jesus. Okay. This mask looks cool. Damn. Like tapes to a board. Awesome. And then this one's so big. I don't know if I ever looked at these properly. Fish. Where's the sound coming from? Oh, the open window. Hm. Can only see some plants. Cool though. It's giving me uh, Resident Evil 4 vibes. The way the textures are. Okay, kick some butt. And ta da! It connects! This is where we were with Kurishima. When we were chasing that little six year old girl who was getting the surgery. It all connects. So cool. Does the elevator work? Does it? Oh shit! Wait, it works for us, but it doesn't work for Kirishima. Oh, so creepy. Just sitting on that little stool. Okay, so... Does that work? <gasps> it does. I gotta be ready. There is a, a thing. 
Okay. Ground floor. Oh! Hey, dude! Oh, shit! Yeah, it doesn't count, does it? No. I think it never counts. Can I try again? Should I try being closer? Yeah, it doesn't work. Can I actually do anything on this floor? So creepy. We haven't been here before, right? Locked. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Yeah, they're both locked. For now. Okay. Let's just go back to the basement basement. I'm trying to remember though. I feel like there was something... There is something here. What is it? Just crystals? Nice. One crystal. <laughs> I'll save here because I remember something. Um, yeah, let me just save there for now. So that one doll is like a, a little, like, bug. And I remember a fix for it that someone mentioned that you can, like, save there, exit out, load in again or something. Oh. There we go. Might as well try again, right? I think it's usually like this is like a good distance, right? <laughs> it worked! I got it! I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. It actually worked, so you just save on the B1 floor, and then go back into it. What? This is a very big moment. <laughs> Holy shit. I actually got it. So it's a good memory of her standing there, peaceful. I guess that's the halfway point, huh? Moon is halfway gone. We finished chapter, what? Six? I think. Well, I guess I can save now, because I saved, I got the doll. Holy shit. I was gonna save it, but. Chapter 6 clear. Yeah, and there's 12 chapters, so we're exactly halfway through the game now. <gasps> Ooh! I, I'm sorry, I'm still freaking out over the fact that I got that doll. That is a known glitch, that you can't photograph that doll. And I did it! So maybe I can get the full 100 dolls now, if I do uh, a new game plus. I might pick up a guide for all the dolls, see if we can still get them. Maybe we can still get all 99 or 100, it is, I think it is. This chapter ended now, Duca, ended uh, in the same 
place that Kirishima's chapter ended that one time. I think that was the last time we played as him, right? We found our way down there through a different way, not using the elevator, and then it ended. And now Duka is there as well, and it ended. So definitely a place of significance. I know this one is a little bit shorter, we're under an hour, but I decided to cut it here because the next episode is way over an hour. So it's either like I go super long and then we have a two hour episode or I cut it here and we'll go like one hour chunks at a time, which I think is probably a better pace to go at. Uh, we're not in a rush yet. We still have a lot of time until five re-releases. So I figured this would be nicer. I hope you guys like it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon with another chapter. Thank you.